Emacs, one of the oldest of the G's in the racing game, is bringing back their classic line. This is the newest version. It's a prototype, and we're gonna take it all around the track on the night spot. This is a 2207, 2100 KV, super high KV, and we're gonna take this fast as possible. Now, I've been testing various prototype versions over the last few months. Take a look at some of the close-ups of these, the black and red, the white and chrome, but the official initial release is gonna be the black bell with the chrome top and bottom but if you'd like to see any of these other colorways released as a limited edition put in the comments below and we'll see if we can push emacs to do so i personally would love to see a tribute to the og red bottom a hundred percent emacs is seeking to regain their dominance in the field of both freestyle and racing but is that possible in 2023 when numerous other players have now entered the market and is it possible competing against their own line of Eco Motors? If you've been flying since 2015 or longer, you probably remember the original Emacs Red Bottom, a beautiful 2205 motor that was at a low KV, and later on they introduced a high 2600 KV that was meant to be flown on 4S. At the time, it was ultra powerful and still a lot of control if you went with the lower 2300 KV. My first name brand motor build was the original Emacs Red Bottoms. And then when they brought out the 2306, 2700 KV, people were losing their minds because it was so high KV, you could go blisteringly fast and people were crying that their battery was done in under two minutes. Fast forward to now where skill levels have risen every single year. Now we struggle to get even 60 seconds in the air around a racetrack because of how hard people are able to push. So how do they fly? To me, they fly faster than my normal motor for the last couple of years, which is the heads up 2207 1960 KV. At 2100 KV, these are a little bit faster. In fact, so fast that to get, to get comfortable on both of these tracks, I had to put on at least an 80% throttle cut in order to give myself that throttle resolution and control. And that's a lot of versatility because on a smaller area that you're flying, you can add a high throttle cut in order to calm it down, but still leave you that low end grunt. Or what you can also do is crank it all the way up if you have the space to really stretch these motors legs. And that versatility is like having a couple different sets of motors in one that you can just flip at the flip of a switch on your throttle cut to go faster or slower, whatever you have the room to be able to do. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I know Emacs as the eco brand, the budget brand, the people that were selling $13, $14 eco motors that were pretty good, but maybe skimped on a little bit of the construction in order to get the price down. At the time, that was a revolutionary idea and a lot of other manufacturers have followed suit, but Emacs was kind of the originator of that eco trend. But now they're going back to their roots, higher quality construction, higher quality everything, more durability and more speed. And they're shooting for a premium constructed motor for a mid level price, just under $20. So that yes, it's going to be more expensive than their eco line, but not as expensive as some of these premium motors today, which are 25, 26, sometimes as much as $28 pop for a five inch motor. Boom. And to top it off, it won't be available at launch, but very soon after we should have bells available for purchase. Yes, that's right. In fact, ever since I've been racing on a motor where I could replace the bell, the heads up motor, that meant that majority of my crashes where I broke something on the motor, it was the bell. So instead of paying 20, 25 bucks a pop for a whole new motor, I could just replace a bell for 10, 12 bucks and then boom, I was back in the air and it really reduced my overall cost. Even though I was flying higher priced motors in the long run, actually saved me a couple hundred dollars a year going that route and so emacs is hoping to do that as well with a baseline price that's just a little bit lower so can they gain the type of dominance they had back in the day it's a tough call with so many options out there on the market i'm not sure if that's going to be possible but this is going to be a really nice option i really do like the black and silver colorway that they went for for the production version of these and the power is absolutely there you know for a moment i saw a set of these in the wild at the ice race sidewinder was there and i looked at his build 
and it had the motors and I thought that they released and I panicked because I thought after all the testing I had been doing, I missed the release date and forgot to make a video. But thankfully that wasn't the case. He was actually also testing the motors. In fact, a lot of the Houston Night Spot crew tested these. So Emacs doesn't just create something and ship it out the door. They do months and months of testing with various people around the country in order to get that recipe right. So they took all of that Night Spot feedback. They took all of the feedback from all the other testers all over the world and this this is the final design. Man, I panicked so hard though when I saw Sidewinder's motors. It was like that nightmare whenever you wake up and you feel like you're late to school and then you run all the way there and then you realize it's Saturday and then nobody was actually there and you weren't late to begin with. Ooh, that was... That really had me going guys so is this a motor for you if you really want the option to have all the speed you could possibly want and power and then dial it down so that you have that versatility instead of swapping motors back and forth something that has this amount of power that you can kind of shift that throttle cut up and down does give you a lot of versatility without actually having to resolder any components uh, I think that there are some builders that are going to want to go with budget components still. And for that, you can pick the lower eco line. But if you do want something that's going to last a little bit longer, if you are putting it on the line and you may have an impact here or there in a bando or at a race, this is going to be something that's going to give you a top tier level of performance without having to spend that super top tier price point. So I think there is some attractiveness there. Now for those people that do want to participate in things like Freedom Spec right now, you may have to have those heads up motors, but Lamon has released the CAC version of Betaflight that does RPM limit. And with that, you could still fly other motors. So hopefully that'll be coming soon. It's that close to being official. So talk to Shames and Lamone if that's gonna happen. And if so, then we're gonna see a lot more versatility in the motors being flown at races. And those of you guys that are freestyling out there, what are you gonna do? What's the perfect price for you? Do you, is bells a requirement for you? Leave them a comment below, let us know. And if you have an Emacs story from 2015 or earlier or back in the day, what was your first Emacs set of motors? I'll show a picture of mine. It was a beautiful build with a bootleg frame that I got off of Banggood, but I in short order converted it over to an Armitan Chameleon. So I, at least I made up for that Banggood cloning i didn't really know about cloning back then it was only like 2016 guys how fast is it gonna be is it gonna burn up my eac let's go find out in the truck f7 or some gun oh yeah okay cool 